responded on her website, slammed her. Tweedy slammed back. And then <laughs> it's, it's gone one further. It's like a game of tennis here, because Alan has whacked it up again. <laughs> well, um, yes, she, she had a little of that slight in one of her songs. And, of course, you were down there in the crowd, mm, like, microphone ready, trying to get some immediate reaction. Yeah. That's right. There was a fellow there, and I'll be honest with you, we had to come off, we didn't know what he was saying. I he believe, if truth be told, on. I believe he was Scottish. Yes, I <laughs> And, so. um, we couldn't understand a word of him, but uh, he seemed to be saying a lot of stuff about feminism. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, magazines. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, generally there, you could get, um, we had immediate reaction, which was a woman had never heard yeah, of yeah. Cheryl yeah, Tweedy. Yeah, but it went on, there were quite a few people who'd never heard of Cheryl Tweedy, but, mm. um, well, that's fair enough. Well, of course, we managed to, uh, to bag uh, Lily, but before we talk to her, <laughs> we, uh, let's hear one of her live recordings. Food. That was pretty. I was remembering the two Ronnie's joke. Well, that um, one's not really cooked properly. No, don't bother with that. Yeah. Uh, I was remembering the two Ronnie's joke. Um, the BBC coffee has gone up to 50p a slice. It was great. It was great <laughs> stuff. You know, it was classic days before your time. Um, no, I mean, I went on. Uh, Never mind buzzcocks with Phil. <laughs> 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 Everyone was calling us two Ronnie's all day. It was pretty funny. How was the uh, How was the show? I'm still a bit like, ooh, about really? it all. It was just a weird. The thing is, I've been coming here 22 years, so it's just like, like the maddest. I feel like I've peaked now. I yeah, can't yeah. Go, really it's go anywhere from that. That's the end. Except for headlining, and I'm never going to do that because it's not really that kind of music. But yeah. You look quite um, excited when you've got to play one guitar chord. Yeah. This is well, something you've been working on for. <laughs> Well, because basically what happened was I fired my guitarist. Oh, really? Well, just before he was about to go on, he was thinking, brilliant, I'm playing Glastonbury no, 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 at last. No, 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 <laughs> this is like months ago, and that's the only song that really requires a guitar. Right, right. In it. So. No wonder you fired him. There was only one note, wasn't No, no, it? no. I mean, there were other bits that he did, but we realised we didn't actually need him, that's why we fired him. It's quite a lot of money to take people around Absolutely. the world. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, so fired him, and then, um, yeah, played it myself. It worked, it worked brilliantly. Thank Congratulations. You. you slammed Cheryl Tweedy. Is that going to cause all kinds of problems? No, I don't give a f Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Lily there, very sweetly uh, giving us uh, a few moments uh, after her show, because I'm sure she was on a high, but um, it was, she was very nice for it. Although I have to say that I felt I should have got more reaction from the two Ronnie's gag. <laughs> she, <laughs> because yeah. what you'll notice is she made the reference about uh, looking like the two Ronnie's with Phil Jupiter's, and yeah. we laughed very heartily. Yeah. Which was, and that was merely an observation, that was merely a sort of uh, a small anecdote, whereas I actually gave some classic two Ronnie's material. Yeah, yeah. And I got nothing from her. No. So uh, I don't know if there's a generation gap thing, but <laughs> um, I should have tried out some of the other classic two Ronnie's. <laughs> um, my favourite being some of the news ones. Mm -hmm. um, now, let me get this right. A lorry load of wigs has crashed on the M4. Police are combing the area. Yeah, mm. yeah Classic. Yeah. And uh, I also remember... <laughs> do you remember there was a tortuous one? Um, there was... There's a hole... No, hang on, wait yes. a minute. No, there's, yeah, there's a hole in the side of a nudist colony. Yeah, in a fence. Yeah, police are looking into it. Here we go. Yeah. And also, the, the nudist colony is featured quite heavily, as I recall. <laughs> yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There was one about a, um, a madman is terrorising nudist colonies with a meat cleaver. <laughs> uh, Inspector Johnson from the yard has had a tip-off, but he hopes to be back on duty on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Which was dynamite. And in the canteen, of course, you could have done the four candles. I could have yeah, done, I yeah. could have done. So there are so many options there, but it's uh, very nice of Lily to, uh, to have spoken to us at all. Each week, of course, we play a cover version, and uh, as every uh, artist who we're playing today is featuring at two th Glastonbury 2007, I've chosen the Broken Family Band, who uh, were on the Avalon stage yesterday, and here's their version of Leonard Cohen's Diamonds in the Mine. How many times would you say I normally urinate in a show? 
five. It's normally five, isn't it? Five or six. I'd say if there's anyone out there who can help me, I've got a terribly weak bladder. It is absurd. I don't know what's it's going nonsense. on. I've heard of a miracle drug you can buy in the States which expands your bladder. Rashida was talking about that. Yeah, she, she was, wasn't yeah. she? I, I'm very excited about maybe trying to get hold of some of that. If I don't know if it's legal, obviously it, I'll only use it if it is. But that would be ideal because I'm rushing backwards and forwards. I just had to pop outside then, and I know everyone's likes to be fairly kind of squalid, but uh, I was having a little a little tinkle and a man wandered round and he looked at me like I was a oh, dog yeah. it's well, like in the BBC compound it's not allowed oh no you can do it in the you know in front of the pyramid stage yeah, yeah, yeah. as we saw yesterday a man yeah. did it into a, a carton yeah. during Lily and I thought he was going to get thrown somewhere I was yeah, well, the thing is there's big signs but always was furious. there's big signs up everywhere saying you know don't pee in the hedges or anything because you know this beautiful pristine farm yeah <laughs> it's unspoiled totally that, you, that might ruin yeah, it yeah it does my friend uh, Tristan was uh, one of the green police last year and their job is to go around wearing green to get a free ticket but they have to tell people off for peeing into the bushes. Well, I think he was particularly annoyed because I was uh, urinating onto some uh, electrical cables. It <laughs> <laughs> was, was madness, I don't know what I was thinking. When you hear about four hours before the show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. I was. That's, that's, that's what I should have thought about. Yeah, was, I saw some fizzing, but I just thought it was a bit rock and roll. <laughs> I didn't really put two and two together. All right, well, um, we'll, uh, we'll have to go to the news, but after that we'll uh, hopefully speak to the Kaiser Chiefs, and uh, we think Willie Mason's probably not going to happen, but uh, I'm sure we can badmouth him enough to, uh, <laughs> to um, feel better. It, yeah. <laughs> Here's the news. Also played on Friday night here at Glastonbury 2007, Hot Chip and I Was a Boy from School. It's the Steve Show, BBC Six Music with me, Stephen Merchant. And as I say, we're at Glastonbury 2007. Iggy Pop in the news there was chatting about all the uh, various signs that he saw. And uh, they yeah. caught our eye as well, didn't they? Again, a lot of stuff. People sticking it to the man. Oh, I mean, yeah. I, know, I think if there's one abiding memory of Glastonbury 2007, it's the man and uh, and how much he's had it stuck to him. Mm. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are underrepresented in the, uh, in the banner stakes. I mean, there's, like Iggy says, there's about a mile drag into the site where you get driven in and people have put these incredibly ornate banners up uh, on all the railings. Very few pro-war. <laughs> uh, yeah. The fox hunters, you <laughs> yeah. know, didn't see anything They're not making them. their voices heard. No. No, no. People who just like throwing rubbish away and yep. doing nothing with it. Just putting okay. it all in a big heap somewhere. You know, they, they yeah, 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 If you're keen to recycle, oh, oh, you can't move for oh, a recycle bag. So bags. many, so many. A lot of people as well, of course, um, uh, making signs and carrying them around so that they can mm. perhaps be caught briefly on the uh, TV cameras. Yeah. That looks like a lot of effort. People carrying around giant flags, uh, yeah. often of, uh, of you know, different uh, regions uh, or countries and so on. Often just completely arbitrary. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, there was a guy with a flag saying, uh, I refused permission to have this flag shown on <laughs> TV. <laughs> nice. like that. Yeah. Cool. What would you have on a flag if you were going to make one? Uh, we were talking about this. Uh, flags that we like. I like the Cornish flag. Black, <laughs> a white cross on a black background. Uh, I've got no particular allegiance to a partic any other particular country other than my own. <laughs> he said, standing and putting his hand on his heart. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, really. I'm not sure I can actually give my response to that. Can I steal the one that I gave last night? I can't remember what it was. I, was, was, I, I suspect it was, uh, was it some kind of ornately drawn? Yeah. 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 Mind it to me, but I feel we can say it. Yeah, well, it, it was just, just going to be a very crudely, uh, uh, drawn cock and balls. <laughs> Excellent. I don't think you can say that. Sorry. Okay, I'll Sorry, take I, that was, I thought you were going to clean up, but you didn't. <laughs> no, thanks I, very much. I rescind that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I actually think instead of being crudely drawn, it should be very ornately drawn. <laughs> just with incredible detail. Lovely. Yeah. Sort of, I would obviously just very have a picture of my own face uh, on any flag, uh, with just perhaps a bat bat catch underneath, you know, uh, extras box set available on DVD by <laughs> my from any major retailer. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you know I don't want to miss out on these things. Uh, but I know we sent you off wandering about to uh, to just catch up with some of the people that um, that are out and about here. And of course, I'm very against the idea of bringing kids to Glastonbury. I think it looks like an awful lot of headache. I get very anxious when I see someone like uh, young Lily Allen swearing. She was foul mouth. Oh, it's oh, potty mouth. Potty mouth. Yeah, you it wouldn't believe smoking, smoking, and all sorts. And uh, and it was uh, it sometimes would cut to very cute little girls in the audience dancing <laughs> yeah. and singing along. And I was thinking, what about all the effing and blinding? Mm -hmm. And uh, so I myself would not bring kids, but uh, I know that you guys spoke to people who um, are very pro bringing mm. kids. Uh, we're from BBC Six Music. Why don't we come under here under the? Uh... Six Music. So whose birthday is it? It's Miranda's birthday. Hello. Will you tell us your name and where you come from and what you're doing here? Uh, my name is Miranda Waterworth from Blastonbury, and I'm here. Because years ago. Wow. You were actually born at the festival on the site? Yeah, born on the site about two fields away from here. That's in incredible. The... <laughs> and that's my mum. Fantastic. And what's your and name? I'm her sister. <laughs> uh, my name's Jo and I was a new age traveller in 1985 after the Battle of the Beanfield and have my first baby which is the darling Miranda here <laughs> in a bus at Glastonbury Festival on the Sunday and it was as muddy as this. Really? Yes. Oh, that's horrific. Well, well, it was <laughs> and what's your name? Melody. Melody. And how old are you? Uh, ten. <laughs> and how, how many times have you been to Glastonbury? Uh, I've been when I was little. Mum 
totally put it off for years because she didn't like it, and right. then we came back again. I see. And so, her brother's here as well, just over there. Oh, I see. We've got our family. <laughs> wow. So, as Glastonbury veterans, do you think the mud makes or breaks it? Do you think? Do you think it's a good thing, or I don't? Because I've heard people say, "Oh, you know, it's great for the spirit," but you guys, you seen it many times do you prefer it personally i prefer it when it's not muddy when it's dusty yeah but i can appreciate that lots of people um love getting muddy it does kind of bring everyone down to the same level everyone's dirty yeah. everyone's <laughs> covered in mud everyone's equal yes so yeah so wet or dry doesn't really matter but you, you, you yeah, yeah. Just, same like ethos, and who's the, what's the best band you've seen so far melody uh oh, oh i um i'm gonna see lily allen in about Half an hour. Oh yeah, yeah. You like her? She's cool. And so I'm there we are. So we are. Do you have to see Liliana? Now, what was that kid? Uh, she was ten. Ten years yeah. old. The effing and blinding from Alan. The smoking. She yeah. says, "Oh, I'm not a role model." Well, you are, love, whether you like it or not. So clean up your act. <laughs> All right. The problem we had with that was uh, that they were absolutely lovely family. Um, but when the mum was telling the story about how she gave birth on site, that uh, sort of Rufus <laughs> grimaced, and I went, "Oh my God, that must have been appalling." <laughs> and she's like, "Well, no, it was wonderful. It was really cool. It was great." And I think we lost her at that point. <laughs> we really. did a little bit. <laughs> Harry was just thinking about the admin. But but <laughs> surely, you know, what forms could you have filled in if you're on site? It's a in logistical. The <laughs> I love it. We're so, we're so not rock and roll, are we, in the spirit of this? We just, I mean, the first thing I did when I arrived was just check out where the lavatories were <laughs> and the first aid tent. Yeah, it's so yeah. pathetic. Oh, well. Uh, more live music then. Uh, what, who is this, Adam? Kooks. The Kooks. They recorded uh, something for us, or we recorded them. Something happened anyway. Here they are. <laughs> They warmed up for the killers on Saturday night. That's the kooks and naive. Now, a lot of uh, umming and ahhing here at Six Music about when we leave this evening. Do we stay for the who, the mighty who, or do we uh, hot foot it back to our small hotel and have a bath? Uh, we're not quite sure where we're, uh, where we're angling towards at the moment. But um, what we will try and do is catch the Kaiser Chiefs, who are warming up for the who mm. later, probably about 8 o'clock. And uh, we managed to catch up with the Kaisers a little bit earlier on. I'm in the port cabin. I'm here with uh, Ricky and Nick from uh, the Kaiser Chiefs. Little round of applause from the start of Steve Wright. <laughs> It's a real oh. thrill to have you here, guys. I like your posse. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? I don't even know half these people are. <laughs> we just dragged them in to add a little bit of atmosphere to an otherwise uh, lifeless show. Um, guys, it's lovely. You've just landed. You've just landed. Yes. Have you just come in by helicopter? We no. no. Bye, boss. Bye, yeah, boss. We just got here. last night. Um, yeah, so we're, we're excited. I was giddy. Very away. excited. You were giddy? Very giddy. You don't hear that word amongst rock stars very often. <laughs> now. I'm giddy. Well, I'm giddy. I'm giddy. Well, that's what Liam always says, isn't it? Did I'm, you say giddy? I'm giddy. <laughs> that's a Liamism. <laughs> Other Liamisms being. Ah, oh, I'm over the moon. <laughs> <laughs> that show was a trifle disappointing. That's Jimmy Savile. I'm starting to do Jimmy Savile. I should never try and do impressions. They're awfully similar. Um, guys, now you famously uh, predict riots, but you didn't predict last night the uh, Iggy Pop riot. Oh no, I didn't hear about it. Apparently so. Apparently what he, he urged people to come up on stage, and they literally, they, everyone was saying it was a riot. Um, mm. But uh, we think it was about 14 people just oh. causing the benches. Was anyone hurt? Apparently not. Be able to <laughs> like, again, you're just not a rock star, are you? You're <laughs> worried about if, if there's health and safety. Uh, uh, everyone safe. I think a few feelings might have been hurt. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Now, obviously, you are a warm-up act for the Who. Uh, they're a warm-down act for us. <laughs> <actually>. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The audience will be so up for it. You, they'll need to be, you know, the Who right. will need to bring them down. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need to warm down. Yeah. Well, one of the things we were talking before about about you, you guys is you've got now what feels like a kind of body of anthemic sort of stadium songs. You know what I mean? You could just imagine people yeah. are going to get so pumped up and excited. Is that a deliberate manoeuvre yes. to be the new queen? Yes. <laughs> exactly. I remember when, when, we were in, write, you... when we were in our rehearsal room, we write a new song, we play it, we've, we always imagine that we've got an audience there and sometimes we actually go out of our room and, and sort of go in as though we're coming on stage and play a new song. That, that, <laughs> and we always say, no, but we always say, no, it's only a joke. It's like Bre I... breaks, up the, breaks up the day. But, uh, and we always say, imagine we're playing at Glastonbury. Do you really? Is yeah, it, we have done a lot. Yeah, because yeah. it's. I mean, do you do you have one 